Hello, welcome to Trade Upper. My name is Matthias, I'm the CEO. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview about the business we're doing with our clients, an introduction to the dynamic marketplace we're operating in, and explain to you how we're positioning our offering in this marketplace in the future. Thank you very much for watching. So let me start by introducing our business to you. Trade Upler is a leading European performance marketing company. We generate online sales for our clients, advertisers and agencies through our large network of publishers. Publishers promote advertisers' products in return of a commission. Online consumers are going through publisher websites to the merchants' websites and are eventually checking out through a sale. We are facilitating this process through our technology platform and our expertise. In fact, we're the only performance marketing company who has both a network and a technology offering. The technology offering is enabling our clients to run cross-channel performance marketing campaigns or setting up a private network solution. While we have 11 offices across Europe, we work with our clients worldwide and have programs live in 69 different countries. We work with leading brands. At the moment, we work with over 2,000 advertisers and a network of 180,000 partners and we are creating great value for our clients. In 2014, we delivered 24 billion Swedish kroner of order value for our clients. And in Q1 2015 alone, we signed 185 new client contracts, of which 40 work with us internationally, so in multiple countries. At this very moment, we're implementing 274 new programs. We're developing our platform in response to a dynamic changing marketplace. We have a market leading mobile offering that includes in-app tracking and reflects that already 18% of all sales made for our network are happening on a mobile device. In November 2014, we launched a market leading business intelligence tool that we call ADAPT, which gives our clients great insights and transparency in how their performance marketing campaigns convert and to optimize and make changes to these campaigns. Now, just in Q1, we launched global capabilities, which allows us to work with our clients worldwide, have real-time tracking around the world and be able to pay their partners in every currency in every country in the world. In order to return to top-line growth, we have made significant structural and operational changes. We have a stable management structure in place and we have implemented new internal processes to increase efficiency in the company. We have a detailed understanding of client profitabilities and we have launched new initiatives to grow our existing business. However, we realize that fixing the core of our business will not deliver the necessary growth for the future. Affiliate marketing is predicted to not develop in line with overall e-commerce and digital ad spend. And in order to return to top line growth, we have redefined our strategic direction, which allows us to address a larger market and return to profitable growth in the future. Let's take a look at how this dynamic marketplace is changing. While growth rates in e-commerce are predicted to slow down, consumers will continue to spend more online. E-commerce in Western Europe is predicted to be at 409 billion euros in 2015. Online advertising spend itself is predicted to grow significantly in the future as well, with online display advertising outgrowing the market being predicted to be at 12 billion euros in 2015. In recent years, a complex online ecosystem has developed with the consumer in the center of this system. Consumers are accessing the internet through multiple devices, being desktop computers, mobile phones or tablets. On the other hand, advertisers want to connect to those consumers in order to build brand value or trigger specific consumer action in the form of click sales and leads and agencies helping advertisers reaching this goal. Consumers are spending their time in the internet on websites which we call publishers and are at the same time the place where advertisers are displaying advertising. Publishers are the key channel for serving online ads in different formats and we categorize them into six different verticals. Meta search, comparison sites, voucher code sites and loyalty sites being those that influence consumer behaviors directly. While we then have as well vertical content sites, email, applications in mobile, search and social media. Publisher websites can be grouped together to add exchanges and add networks in order to bundle relevant structures to facilitate the trading of advertising. 
Technology companies that enable and improve the effectiveness in online advertising have emerged and this part of the landscape has changed dramatically in recent years. Today we differentiate between 10 different categories of technology being tracking, tag management, attribution technologies, the whole part of ad exchanges with real-time bidding, demand side and supply side platforms, affiliate marketing technology, bid management and search, ad serving technologies, the whole part of reporting analytics and data management and retargeting technologies. Brands are struggling to understand this complex landscape and are unable to target customers effectively. Three quarters of consumer brands say engaging connected customers is a priority, but only 29% have a strategy in place to target and sell to this audience. 37% don't know how to use data collected from online sales to inform a targeting strategy. And only 8% of all senior marketers have full confidence in their digital marketing skills. 52% of marketers do not even test their campaigns or content and instead rely on instinct. This all compared to a market size of 33 billion euros that are predicted to be spent on digital advertising in 2015. Technology is the key driver and enabler to overcome the complexity in this new landscape. Now let's talk about how we are redefining our positioning in this complex marketplace. Our corporate strategy will deliver a new form of digital advertising. While Digital Advertising 1.0 was untargeted creative treatments based on fixed delivery or budget goals, Digital Advertising 2.0 was already based on targeting based on contextual data. This was basically Google's success. Digital Advertising 3.0 was targeted creative treatments based on user data. So for example, which was Adnology's offering the ad tech company we acquired in January. Digital advertising 4.0 will be a combination of all of this, optimized by artificial intelligence to achieve definable marketing goals. We will create smarter results for our clients by increasing our tracking market share. With this we will get more data and we will get insights into this data to understand user behavior. This understanding of user behavior we will use to optimize ads that we are displaying for our clients with which we will increase the order value we are generating for them. Increasing the order value for our clients will increase the revenue at Tradeable as well and we will use these insights further to improve our own technology further. With each turn of this circle we will be able to create greater smarter results for our clients increasing their business and with that increasing our business. Further to that, the new corporate strategy will extend the addressable market we're aiming for from 2 to 13 billion Swedish kroner. Affiliate marketing today stands for around 7% of total online ad spend and performance display marketing for 26% of total online ad spend. If you apply usual conversion rates margins in the market, our addressable market at the moment for affiliate marketing is at around 2 billion Swedish kroner. By going into performance display as well, we will increase this addressable market and will address a market that is worth 13 billion Swedish kroner in the future. Our strategy will be realized through acquisition, investment and innovation. We are recruiting 30 additional developers as an initial step in Stockholm and with the acquisition of the technology company Adnologies we add great functionalities and technology to our already existing platform to deliver the strategy as just described before. This agnostic offering we are bringing to the market will deliver value and drive growth. We will have increases in scalability and profitability through automation and we will leverage for the first time from the data assets we have in-house. Building a world-class technology will further increase the value of the company. To sum up our position, our new corporate strategy extends our addressable market and we are well positioned to capitalize on the opportunities it presents. We have a new strategy that addresses a broader market. We have an advanced technical platform. Our heritage in affiliate marketing means that we have access to significant data and expertise and we provide this digital marketing expertise to many leading brands. We are growing our business through investment and acquisition and we have new shareholders who are active in the digital and e-commerce marketplace.
We're making good progress in realizing our strategy to become the leader in creating smarter results for our clients through traffic technology and expertise. The acquisition of the independent German technology company Ethnologies is another big step for us in realizing our strategy as their product portfolio perfectly matches our own. With this acquisition and further investments into our teams and into our products, we see great business opportunities to grow our business again in the future.